Good morning, angels. How are you? It's been a while since I've been around. You know, I walk the land in my ministry because I'm there on Mother Earth, which is my church, to help people in need. But today I wanted to take the time because in my heart and my mind, I feel so many of us in this group are in need. We're having troubles indeed, trying to make even our hearts believe. We've been deceived, we've been hurt, we've been mutilated, we've been abused and misused. Yet we continue to believe that our time is due. We believe that we can be renewed. We only ask of ourselves to have a clue in the direction that we need to go. In many ways, we don't know. We don't know how to grow. We don't know how to nourish. We don't even know how to make it to the next day. But somehow with delay, we wake up, sometimes feeling astray. I want you to know that we can be brave. We can make it through any storm. As we know people literally are going through storms of hurricanes, dooms, fires, and many more. Even their health is diminishing for them. Somehow, in our disbelief, we make it through the storm. Sometimes we wonder how injured we got, but we don't think about the scratches, the burns, the cuts, or the disbelief. Somehow, we take the strength into a survival entity to make it through because we want to live to see another day. Whether we're surviving to help someone else, to live for our children, to live for ourselves, to live for someone that doesn't even want to live for themselves. We make it through so many storms. We are unbreakable. You say, I'm breakable. I'm breaking now. My heart is doomed. My mind is elude. My strength is tired. My energy has no desire. And yet we still continue to admire so many others that we think that they have inquired so much. How do they make it to the capability of believing? What is there to believe in in these times and days of tribulation? What is there to do? For we don't know what the next clue. I say unto all of you, my rainbow angels, you are strong. And I want you to start desiring the need that you have within you, the capability that you can renew, the energy and the inner self of you. You are a survivor. You have made it through many tripes and tribulations. I know you cry about the yesterdays and I know that the yesterdays have left you distorted, feeling unwanted, unclued, misused, and wanting to just intrude within yourself, feeling the nudity that you cannot even reveal what you see within you. Clothe yourself. You are warriors. You are warriors of the Most High. He means you to be kings and queens 
of your own kingdom, of your own entity, of your own self of use. Remember that desire you had inside, but you never replied. You combined yourself and restrained yourself to everyone's capability that they thought of you. And when they said you couldn't make it, you believed it. They took every strength, every ingenuity, and everything from your soul. I want you to regrow your soul. Replant the seed. Let it grow. Fertilize it. Neutralize it. Because it's still there. For that little light that is in within you, it may be dimmering. It may be blowing through the wind. It may have blown out. But you can relight it. And you can make it grow. For you are the candle within the wind. But I've watched you flitter and flick. And your candle grew brighter with striders. You had the ingenuity to become a warrior, a leader of many, but and a leader of plenty. But you've got to get the energy to know that you do have that glow. I know you have that glow. He knows you have that glow. Don't stop growing. Start growing in the direction you need to do to sustain the life in you. You're not whole. Oh, too old to renew. No, you're not. For annuity is like a plant that can be replanted, recloned, but each time it's replanted and recloned, it has a divinity of a new growth, the energy of new knowledge the renewity of what it sold. So grow, my children. Grow in the things that you know. Let go of those yesterdays that pull you back and chain you down and keep you mutilated and your voice silent. Be no more silent within you. For you are the new annuity of this earth. Mother Earth receives you. Mother Earth is our church. And your religion is your heart. Don't let it be scarred. Don't let it bleed to death. Sow it, treat it, renew it, and let it beat to the strength within you. Let it beat to the annuity that grows inside of you. Let it beat to the inner strength that the gods have given you. Let people know that the faith that you have will not be diminished, it will not be depleted. That the faith you have will be meet, met, met, meet it, and greet it with the exception, the exception that you have accepted within you. Because when you find that clue of acceptance within you, you will renew, you will rejoice, and people will say, who is this new being that has survived through every storm, that is that diamond within the rough, 
that is that renewity of you. It's not too late to grow. We grow every day. Each day that we wait is a new beginning. We don't have to live in the yesterdays. We don't have to live in the betrayals. And we don't have to live in this deceiving of others. Believe in yourself. Because if you start believing and loving yourself, I'm going to tell you that that little light will grow and glow until the brilliancy of you, the knowledge of you, and you will shine so bright, people will come for miles to see your might and learn how you rejuvenated how you grew, how you gained the glow within you. You are not old, no. You are the artistry and the artwork of the most wondrous of the land. You are that fine wine that grew the desire in time. You are the heartbeat that lies within many, but died because it didn't try. God bless you. I love you. Take care, rainbow angels. Until we meet again, Keep the faith.